Hello friends, in this video we will synthesize benzimidazole by the condensation of orthophenylindiamine with formic acid. Benzimidazole is an organic compound with pharmacological significance. It is used as antifungal, antiparasitic, analgesic and antiviral drug. Materials required for this preparation include 2 grams of orthophenylindiamine, 10 milliliters of 85% formic acid and 3 molar sodium hydroxide. Start by taking a small 50 milliliter round bottom flask and fix it on a stand. Then add the already pre-weighed 2 grams of orthophenylindiamine into it. Now add the 10 milliliters of 85% formic acid which is pre-measured in this graduated cylinder. Agitate the contents of the flask in order to mix the orthophenylindiamine with formic acid and dissolve it. Next we set up a reflex for 2 hours in a water bath maintaining the temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. Reflex is easily done by a simple Liebig condenser with cold water flowing through it. What is happening here is shown in the reaction. The formic acid condenses with the amine group of orthophenylindiamine forming an intermediate with NHCHO side chain. In the next step, there is elimination of a molecule of water forming the benzimidazole. It is highly soluble in acidic medium, hence it remains in the solution. In the next step, we will be adding an alkali to neutralize the acid and on neutralization, product will precipitate out. After 2 hours of reflex, we will take out the condenser and then let the flask cool down to room temperature. Then we add the 3 molar sodium hydroxide solution along with constant stirring. The neutralization point can be checked by using a red litmus paper which will turn blue indicating the solution turned just basic. By this time the precipitate will be already out in the solution. You can note that when on adding the 3 molar sodium hydroxide solution, it will form a white precipitate which will immediately get dissolved back into the solution. This is similar to attaining the end point in titration. After some time on adding the 3 molar sodium hydroxide solution, the white precipitate formed will not go back into the solution indicating that the neutralization has achieved. And you can test that again by taking a drop of the solution and Placing it on a red litmus paper and you can see that it has turned blue, indicating the end of the reaction. Next, we filter the solution to collect the precipitate. I am using a simple gravity filtration method here. In the funnel, we are left with the crude benzimidazole. This will be purified in the next step, that is the recrystallization. We recrystallize the crude product from hot boiling water. Here I have taken the hot boiling water and I am adding the crude benzimidazole into that. Then I stir the contents with the spatula and on stirring the contents, the benzimidazole dissolves resulting in a clear solution. I decided to just filter the solution in order to remove any undissolved particles. Here you can see that on passing down the filter paper, some of the solution has already cooled down and the precipitate, that is the crystals of benzimidazole has already started forming and some of them even formed in the funnel. So I used some boiling water to wash out the crystals into the beaker. And on cooling, you can see the beautiful crystals of benzimidazole separating out. The crystals actually have a small needle-like shape. The final product was then dried and 
weight to about 1.7 grams which is 85 percentage yield. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you loved the contents of this video, do hit the subscribe button and the bell button for notifications. You can also join my discord server, I will put a link to that in the description.